with the Honorable Miss Kathleen Newsham, the mayor of Bay City. She has been a resident of Bay City for 56 years. She serves as a current member of the Tall Ships Committee. She is on the board of directors for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. She was nice enough to agree to let me interview for this project. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. You are more than welcome. So I bet you have questions for me, don't you? Okay. Madam Mayor, you are involved in planning multiple festivities held right here in Bay City. If you had to recommend one event for the first time visitor, what would it be and why? I would recommend coming to Tall Ship Celebration. I've been at, I was on the board of directors when it first began and um, it's just so exciting to see the ships come through our bridges and then get to their birth on the Saginaw River. And we have tens of thousands of people come. So it's just kind of a great event. It's great for our community, but it's really good for the people for the first time to see those ships come through. This year is, I believe it's the sixth year, and we have been, we have won four of the year. So that's how Bay City has had the tall ships for so many years, because we were we won four of the year. And that means that um, all of our liaison people do a great job with the kids on board and all the staff on board and the captains and stuff. And um, so that's quite an honor. We're the only city in the entire country that has that title. What do you consider the hidden gem of Bay City? Oh my gosh, we have so many. You know, I really think, aside from this beautiful building, this beautiful city hall, because not a lot of communities have the historic buildings like we do. I think all of the history that we have in our community, I think that's our biggest gem. You know, we relied so much on the river, you know, when our city was first born, you know, and we had the, oh gosh, the lumbering and we had salt mines. So we had a lot of things, you know, fishing that was happening here along the Saginaw River too. So I think it's our history and our people. So they're pretty good. Okay. With all of the great parks, including Bay City State Park, Topico Marsh, and the River Walk, the Friendship Show, where do you like to go to relax in Bay City? My favorite park is Winona Park. It's nice and peaceful during the day. And if you want to go in the evening, we have a lot of concerts that take place all during the summer. In the winter now, we have an ice skating rink. It's the same like artificial ice that they have in other like arenas, um, especially in New York, it's, it's kind of special. And that was like one of the first parks that was an organized park in Bay City. So it's, it's kind of special. What is your favorite place to eat in Bay City and what would you order? Okay, this is a tough one because there's so many great places. But my favorite spot is um, right now has been Real Seafood. And I love their lobster rolls. That's what I usually order when I go there. And their key lime pie. If you've not had it, you gotta go and try it. It's wonderful. Okay. So I see you have tons of awards around here, like uh, your dirt and this a mysterious uh, leather ball thing. Yes. Awards. Can you talk about some of them? Sure. Um, the ones on the very end, that wooden oak circle. That is, we're sister, a sister city with Ansbach, Germany. So on my table, I have a lot of stuff from Germany. And so that wooden thing, our other sister city, well, it's, it actually should be hanging on the wall. But our other sister city is Goderich, Ontario, Canada. So they're about four hours away, so they're easier to go back and forth with. Our sister city in Germany, we um, text back and forth with them, and then we have some people that belong to the German club here in Bay City. So they will relay gifts back and forth. So um, a old, very old tobacco in it. And many years ago, we had um, a bridge called the Vida, and it didn't go over the river, but it went over the railroad tracks. So um, because it was 
by an Indian burial ground. The Indians, the chief from Mount Pleasant, they came here and we had an actual dig and there was architecture. Or not architects, archaeologists were here. And so it was very, I mean, like they would take a, like a two by two spot and sift it and then move to the next two by two spot. So it was very tedious. So when the chief came and we signed the documents, um, he gave me the ink pen that we signed with. And in here is the tobacco that would be used in a peace pipe. So modern day, they don't smoke peace pipes anymore. So this is a symbol of what they would have put into a peace pipe, and it's never been open. So I know you were interested in seeing it, but I'm afraid if I open it, we'll be in trouble. So anyhow, this is from the Indian Nation. And then this dirt, we have a Gold Star Memorial here in Bay City. And I also have the shovel that um, I used when I was digging. Um, and this project was a very quick project. The monies were all raised. And so a Gold Star family, or Gold Star, it's, it's not necessarily a mom, but the Gold Star Monument is for anyone who's lost a loved one in the war. So um, we are the first city in the state of Michigan to even have that um, honor and by having that. So that's kind of a neat thing. Um, the history here of people being in the wars, we have a lot of memorials over on Center Avenue. So we really respect and really appreciate. And of course, Memorial Day with it just passing, we have events at um, every cemetery in town and every place that you can think of over at the Vietnam War Memorial, um, downtown with the county building. So we really honor our loved ones who have passed. What is the oldest building in Bay City? Oh, I think it's the Tromley House. That was a wooden structure that now is across the river. They floated it across the river on a barge. So it was a, it was a family home. So now though, it's always open. Um, they do certain events like at Christmas time, they have like little luncheons and anyone can, you know, you can buy a ticket and go. But they're open during, um, you know, in, in September we have um, the River of Time. So then it's open and you can go through. Do you like best as your role of, as the mayor of Bay City? The things I love the best are meeting with students like you and going to schools and talking to kids. And also as mayor in Michigan, you can perform wedding ceremonies. You don't have to, but you can. So I choose to do that. So that's kind of a fun thing. And the most important thing, though, is just the people of Bay City. Because we have really great residents who live here. And I like interacting with them. I like answering phone calls and talking. You know, when they send me an email, I try to respond right away. Because it's important that they have a voice. And so I like to be that voice. Thank you again for your time and telling us how awesome Bay City is. I'm very excited to share this information with my classmates. Perfect. 